hello good morning students today i would like to discuss the topic in mechanical properties of solids in the 11th class physics in this one of the important question is behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load that is a question explain the behavior of a wire under gradually increasing load for this question i will take a rigid support here the symbol will be like this a wire is freely suspended to this if you add some weights to this what happened to this so if you add some weight here automatically we know that the wire will be some elongated to the downward direction if you add some more weight it will more some some more elongation if you more some more if you add some more weight it will be elongated more 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 gradually if load is increasing how can the wire behavior that can be explained in this concept so actually we say that initially if some load is attached the wire will be elongated if you remove the load it will regain its original position which we can say elastic nature some more if you add some more weight to this it will also some more elongation if you remove the weights again it will go regoes to the original position that means up to certain weights it will regain to its original length that we can say proportional now applying load means i am applying stress here elongation in the wire means it will be indicated with the strain if you more if you add some more weight it will be elongated if you remove the weights it doesn't regain its original shape that means it has some elastic nature but it doesn't obey hooke's law actually we know that hooke's law means stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit that is the definition of hooke's law within the elastic limit that is important point see the wire will be later the wire will be yielding yielding means it becomes thin and thin thin if you add some more weight again going thin 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 at a particular point it is ready to break once if you add or without adding the weights automatically the wire will breaks what is the use of knowing this what is the use of knowing this behavior by using this behavior we can divide it into two types of metals brittle metal and ductile metal say ductile tile tile means uh, tail tile similar terms you can say tile tail that is which is elongated more just like ductile metals means copper steel iron these are all comes under ductile metals gold what about the brittle metal brittle means which can be easily breakable just like ceramic glass this comes under the brittle metals so basing by using this concept they can design which metal is used for which purpose now without wasting the time i would like to explain this by using the graphical method see a wire is suspended from the rigid support by adding loads to its increasingly we can draw the graph between strain on the x axis stress on the y axis this is the diagram now first one if you add some weight to this small weight it will be elongated if you remove it regains its original position if you add some more little weight again it will elongated if you remove it regains its original position so that can be explained from the graph that is a point a 
which we can say that proportionality limit. See from this ray diagram OA, this OA is a straight line. OA is a straight line showing showing stress proportional to strain. That means it obeys Hooke's law. Obeys Hooke's law. So, we can say that this is the proportionality limit. This point A is called proportionality limit. This is from the diagram. Next, if you add some more weight, what happened? It doesn't re if you remove the weight, it doesn't regain the original shape, but it has the elastic nature that can be explained by the term B. Now, which we can call as point number two that is elastic limit. First point you can call as proportionality limit, this we can call as the elastic limit. That is uh, between A and B from the diagram A and B when load is removed the wire regain its original length but stress is not proportional to strain that means it does not obey so it does not obey Hooke's law. Now the point B is called elastic limit. So B is called elastic limit. Later from the diagram B to E load is applied on the wire is removed. The wire does not regain its natural length completely. So it will have a permanent increase in the length. This shown by the dashed lines that is over dash which we can call as the permanent set. So we will get the point number 3 is permanent set. So, from B to E, sorry, not B to E, from B to C, yeah, from B to C, load applied, load applied on the wire is removed. So, the wire does not regain its natural length. Called permanent set can be 
shown as o o dash from the diagram okay now point number 4 which is yield point yield point what do you mean by the yield point if the wire crosses this point uh, c the strain increases rapidly that means elongation will be increases rapidly without increasing the load if you in if the load is increased or not increased that doesn't make any difference simply without increasing the load the strain gradually increases 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 that we can that means the wire become thin that we can call as yield yield means thinning so when the wire crosses when wire crosses the point c strain that is elongation increases rapidly without any increasing in the load so beyond the point c the wire becomes thin the stress for the same load becomes larger and larger increasing the strain further and further so beyond c the wire becomes thin and next point is point number 5 that is tensile point tensile point c tensile point means the stress corresponding to the point d is called tensile strength so from the diagram the stress corresponding to capital d is called tensile strength so it can be defined as is very important tensile strength uh, some competitive exams they will ask the question related to this uh, so how can you define the tensile point means uh, tensile strength means uh, this is nothing but the ratio of maximum load uh, to the original area of cross section simply you can say the definition for the tensile strength is maximum load to ratio of maximum load to the original area of cross section tensile strength so you can write here definition if you want you can write otherwise no need so if you want you can write better to write here because it will be helpful in the competitive point of view also so it is the ratio of maximum load to original area of cross section so this is the point uh, d next uh, last one which is uh, point number 6 point number 6 that is breaking point so beyond the this will beyond the d wire will be thinning 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 no longer will be uniform the wire shows next at point number e ultimately it will be break that we can called as from this diagram e we can called as the fracture point or breaking point you can say so the breaking point means how can you define simply beyond the 
थी बियॉन्ड द पॉइंट ई द थिंग ऑफ वायर is no longer uniform and the wire will and the wire shows next at the uh, e the wire breaks called breaking point so this is the behavior of the wire under gradually increasing load simple explanation for this you will get full bye 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 marks bye bye marks so thank you for watching